2007 was the year Kenyans went to the polls in a general election and ended up so divided over the results of the presidential race that they plunged the country into violence of a scale it had never seen since independence. Major political differences had been manifest from the beginning of the year. On the one hand, there were the supporters of President Mwai Kibaki and his ruling National Rainbow Coalition, NARC. And on the other, there was the opposition Orange Democratic Movement Kenya, ODM Kenya, a coalition of parties that had successfully opposed Kibaki's draft constitution at a national referendum in 2005. NARC grouped together Kibaki's Democratic Party of Kenya, Charity Ngilu's National Alliance for Change, and Musikari Kombo's Ford Kenya. ODM Kenya brought together the former ruling party, the Kenya African National Union Kanu, chaired by Uhuru Kenyatta, the Liberal Democratic Party, LDP of Raila Odinga, and a number of smaller opposition parties. There were divisions in both camps. Within the opposition, the differences would, in July, see Uhuru Kenyatta lead Kanu out of ODM Kenya and commit the party to support Kibaki's re-election. Kanu's exit from ODM Kenya was followed a month later by the breakup of the remaining part of the coalition. Two parties would emerge, one that retained the official name, ODM Kenya, which eventually nominated Kalonzo Musyoka as its presidential candidate, and the other, known simply as ODM, that nominated Raila Odinga as its presidential flag bearer. Kibaki chose to go with the Party for National Unity, PNU, an umbrella party that he had launched on October 1st. It brought together all pro-Kibaki parties, among them Kanu, NARC Kenya, the Democratic Party of Kenya, Ford Kenya, Ford People, Shirikisho Party of Kenya, and Safina. Parties launched their election campaigns in October, and from the very beginning, there were incidents of violence that did not bode well for the election outcome. There was violence in Kisi, in Kibera, and in Westlands in Nairobi, at the coast, and in Rift Valley. In Kuresoi, Tension was high in early December as 11 people were killed within a week of mayhem, during which 300 armed Kalenjin raiders attacked farms owned mostly by Kikuyus. Many of the surviving victims ended up in makeshift refugee camps. Polling day itself, December 27th, was orderly in most areas of the country. But tempers started to rise in a number of areas when the Electoral Commission of Kenya delayed the announcement of the presidential election results. Late December 30th, ECK Chairman Samuel Kivuitu announced Kibaki the winner in the presidential race. Hardly an hour later, Kibaki was hurriedly sworn in at State House Nairobi. There were immediate protests from supporters of his main challenger, Raila Odinga, of the Orange Democratic Party, ODM, who thought the presidential election had been rigged. Some of those protests turned violent, setting the stage for worse violence in the coming weeks and months. 2007 was also the year all 114 passengers and crew died when on May 4th, a Kenya Airways Airbus 737-800 crashed in Cameroon shortly after making a stopover at the country's Douala Airport en route from Abidjan Ivory Coast to Nairobi. Investigations would later reveal that the crash was due to pilot error, poor weather conditions and some technical defects in the aircraft. In sports, 2007 was the year Martin Lell won the New York and London men's marathons, while Robert Cherry Yacht again won the Boston men's marathon, having done so the previous year. In Nairobi, Conrad Rautenbach of Zimbabwe, partnered by Peter Marsh, won the safari rally.
Besides the victims of the pre-election violence and the Kenya Airways air crash in Cameroon, Kenyans in 2007 said farewell to veteran freedom fighter and one of the Kapenguria Six, Achieng Oneko. Ex-President Jomo Kenyatta's widow, Grace Wahu, and former Nairobi Deputy Mayor, Nicodemus Kirimau.